We finally moved into our house and it is so exciting. I am currently recording this video in my dream closet. Like I cannot believe I finally live here. It's so freaking exciting. And I know I've been gone for a minute, but the whole building journey kind of went sideways. Like it took so long. It got to a point where it was so frustrating. I was so angry. Uh, I think I made a big mistake on the builder that I chose. It was like, it was awful. It was awful. If you follow me on Instagram, you are like, I, th I feel like I was so raw. I felt like I shared literally everything because building a house, there is the time investment, there's the money investment, and then there's the emotional investment. And you get to a point where you feel, <sighs> anyway, this is a happy video. We'll get into that much later or maybe in, a in, another, in another video. However, I'm so happy to be back. I'm excited to be back. I appreciate all of you that sent me messages and comments and on Instagram, people would be like, please post something. You don't even have to edit. It was like the sweetest thing. However, the, I've had so much going on in the last couple of years. I am starting businesses in Uganda. I've been traveling so much like to get away from like the building stress and frustration and all of that, I decided to go to Uganda and then the interest rates here and everything that happened, I decided to invest somewhere else. So I've been spending a lot of time in Dubai and Uganda. And so uh, I'm just like finally settling back down, back here now that we moved into the house we moved on december 20th so we've been here a little like two and a half months at this point maybe a little over we still have so much to do these i don't even know if you can hear uh, we still we have like trucks everywhere the house is done we're living here but there's still a lot that still needs to be done like there's no countertop on my closet island like this crown molding needs uh painted there's still a lot of things to do we can live here the house is i would say it's like 98 percent done but there's still a lot of things you know small things that need to be done on the inside however the outside is a complete mess like we have mud everywhere the pool is not done the pool house is not done the outdoor kitchen is not done Maybe it's like at like 70% now. Uh, we're working on our landscaping, our landscape architect. We have like the most beautiful landscape plan. So that's kind of getting installed now. However, when you've been building like for this long and you've spent so much money and then you get to landscaping and landscaping is so expensive. So it's what we're going dealing with now. However, I'm excited to show you what is done. What I'm going to be doing is uh, filming parts that are done. I like, you know, I'll fill my closet. We're furnishing uh, very slowly. We didn't know if we're actually going to be moving in. So I didn't order furniture. Like I ordered some pieces in 2021 because we thought we're going to be in by latest summer of last year. And we weren't in and they were holding it. Then I was getting cold but from restoration hardware. Like your furniture is ready. We want to deliver it. I didn't have anywhere to put it. So I decided I won't order any furniture until we move into the house. And I'm glad I did that because even most of the furniture that I ordered, some of it, like I feel like it doesn't really like fit how I envisioned it and I've had to return stuff. So I'm glad I didn't order most of the furniture. I, I want us to settle in, feel like how we're living into the house and then slowly start to bring in furniture. I'm so proud of my home. I'm so excited to be in here. I think I've said that so many times, but coming from the slums I grew up in in Uganda to building this beautiful, gorgeous home in the greatest country in the world, it's like, I'm so proud of myself that I actually did it, but I'm also not really like, I haven't been sharing my journey to like show off. I mean, there's people that have like humongous, huge, gorgeous homes, but this is what I love. I want this to be fun. I wanted to share it with you, but I also wanted to inspire because there's a girl 
like me growing up somewhere in Africa or maybe even here that is maybe at rock bottom and is in exactly the same spot I was in and maybe they need that inspiration that if you work hard and you're focused and you don't let anyone tell you you can't do it that you can actually do it. So I'm proud of my home. I'm, I'm proud of what I've been able to do and achieve considering where I came from. And it's something that is supposed to be super fun. I'm excited to share it with all of you. This is the internet. And when you put yourself on the internet, you're like, you know, it's like fair game for people to be mean and rude and say whatever. And honestly, it is okay. I know some of you are gonna love my home. Some of you are gonna hate it. Some of you are gonna be like, blah. But at the end of the day, this is uh, for my family, for my kids. It's something that I love, something that I put my heart and soul into. So before you leave your <laughs> maybe negative comment, like just think about it, like, you know, whatever you don't like, or if it rubs you the wrong way, you could just, you know, keep on scrolling. Um, and those that love it, um, good. If you find something that will inspire your next home, I'm glad. The future videos are going to be for the different rooms, the unfinished rooms, and then later on we'll do the finished. And we're now gonna be moving into this house, settling in with all of you. I'm excited to be back. Um, Sorry I took a while to come back and start recording videos, but um, um, like I feel like I'm in a good place now. I, uh, the last two years of building this house were just like horrible. Like it, it, it's, you're spending so much money and you're so emotionally invested. Like if you watch some of my videos when I was just starting, like I dreamt about building this house when I was sleeping on the floor. I was like 10 years old and I dreamt about building my own house. So this has been like a dream in the making since I was 10 years old. And then you start building it and you realize like the builder you're working with, someone you're paying so much money is just taking you for granted. And they're just, you know, you're just a number, like it doesn't matter to them. And knowing I did so much research and realizing that even all the research I did, I still ended up with like a crappy builder. You know, it, it's like, I don't know. I feel like I was using the word depressed is a very strong word, but I was definitely down for a big part of this build. I'm happy it's finally over. I'm happy to finally be back on YouTube and I cannot wait to start posting more videos.